Lene Tava Thomas, Kevona Davis, Brianna Liston, Dina Asher Smith, and Julian Alfred all battle each other this weekend. Oh my gosh, what a race. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. We drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button and finally leave your thoughts. After this sports analysis, when we take a look at them, we break down the races. So, ready? Yep. Good to go. Well, this weekend will be fireworks in the women's indoor 200 meter when five of the world's best female sprinters will all clash, including three of Jamaica's best youngsters. This all happens at the University of New Mexico Collegiate Classic 2024 this weekend, including the likes of Brianna Liston. Kevona Davis, yes, you're hearing me right, Dina Asha Smith, and of course, Julian Alfred, yep, and Jamaica's Lene Tava Thomas all compete in the 200 meters. Now, in the heat, start list in heat number one, we will see Dina Asha Smith versus Kevona Davis versus Julian Alfred. Can you believe that lineup? Now, Kevona Davis and Julian Alfred are close friends and former running mates. This, of course, is in heat number one. Recently, we saw Kevona Davis battle the remarkable Dina Asher Smith of Great Britain. And at the end of this run, which took place at the Dr. Martin Luther King Collegiate Invitational in New Mexico, well, Dina Asher Smith walked away with a new national British record in the women's 300 meters. That time of 36.77 was set at altitude, and this was in the women's 300 meters. Also, a new personal best for Dina Asher Smith. By three women as they get started here. She's joined by Dejanay Oakley, Ivana Davis, and Jonna Downey. Downey was a double champ at last year's WAC outdoors in the 400. And no surprise, Dina is out there incredibly quickly. Let's see what she can do at altitude on this 200 meter bank track. Top time in the world for this rarely run event is 36.51. And here we go. What's the time gonna be? Dina's obviously gonna take the win. What's it gonna be on the time? I think 36. But the winner of last year's indoors women's 200 meters in the NCAA Check out the newest video from our new channel, Peter Lloyd World of Wealth. I'll return to Treasure Island. I was extremely young. Let's say I had not entered my 20s. And for the first time in my life, I held on to some decent money. What did I do? Watch our newest video at Peter Lloyd World of Wealth. Link in the description below. Julian Alfred would also be battling in the 200 meters against Dina Asher Smith and Kevona Davis. Last year, she became the NCAA Indoor 200 meter champion. Her technique down the stretch. Texas really needs her points. And she is holding off favorable feeling. Alfred is a double. Then, in heat number two, Jamaica's Lene Tava Thomas takes on the likes of Thelma Davis of LSU and Jackson Sears. She, of course, set that blistering personal best and world leading time in the. 400 meters, of course, this was indoors, world leading time and uh, PB, the time, of course, was 51.97. This she did at the Rod McCarvey Invitational. And here we go. Josephine Erickson, three foot four, McLeod, five, and Thomas in six. Real quick start from Thomas in six, for 20 minutes sports in that Puma kit. McLeod starting to move in lane five. Can she start bringing this back a little bit? Thomas lying in six right now. 23-6 is the split I've got on her. Remember the top time in the world, 52-1. Is it under threat right now? 52-1-0, the time to beat. Thomas, your leader. McLeod in second. And look at Erickson of Utah mixing it up with the pros. Erickson of Utah has the gumption to try to go around McLeod 
Thomas coming into the finish line. Thomas, what's the time going to be? 52-1 is the top time in the world this year. 51-9-7 on our clock. That's going to get moved just a little bit. Let's see what it is. But this is going to be a top time in the world. But then there's also the current darling of the indoor women's 60 meter, the remarkable Brianna Liston, who will be competing in heat number three. Liston takes on Denisha Page of Tennessee and Ayana Gray of TCU. Now, recently she just ran the fifth fastest 60 meter dash in the world, a scintillating 7.07 seconds. Set. And a good one there in lane four, Brianna Liston of LSU. Oh my. Liston, 707 for Brianna Liston. Now, the University of New Mexico's Collegiate Classic 2024 takes place today, February the 2nd, into February the 3rd. That's Saturday. Of course, the events that you want to watch will be there today. But this particular, this 200 meter race is tomorrow. Now, can, now this of course is my two cents. Can you imagine a 200 meter with Julian Alfred, Dina Asher-Smith and Kevona Davis. Kevona Davis just ran a personal best in the 300 meter. Dina Asher-Smith just set the new national records for Great Britain and a personal best. And the former last year's uh, 200 meter indoor NCAA champion. One race. Then, um, a mouth-watering Lene Taper thomas who just set a world lead indoors in the women's 400 meters. Then, Brianna Liston, who just ran the fifth fastest 200 meters so far. Sorry, the fifth fastest 60 meters so far for the 2024 season. People, whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, oh my gosh, oh my goodness. This is going to be incredible. Um, just that first race alone is going to be like watching a, a major international final. This, this is where we separate the women from the babies. Trust me, this is going to be exciting. Now, as for my predictions, honestly, my God says Julian Alfred. My God says Julian Alfred, but this is not Julian Alfred's favorite event. And Brianna Liston is unimaginably strong in the 200 meters. And her coach, Dennis Shaver, believes that she is ready. So if he has her running here, she's going to be in top form. We know she has that speed. And remember, she is the 2022 World Under 2200 meter champion outdoors. This is going to be really, really interesting. So it's kind of hard to predict and emotionally I want to say Brianna, but I'm leaning towards Julian Alfred. I would love to hear your thoughts. But this, of course, is my two cents. Who do you predict will win in tomorrow's 200 meter indoor meet? Now, don't forget to go over there and support our new channel, Peter Lloyd World of Wealth. Hit the subscribe button over there. And also hit the subscribe button here. Hit the notification bell, hit the like button. Remember your royals, kings and queens. Bless up.